Now our family, rest easy, Queen. Rest easy. I'ma say this. My name is Rashid. I'm I'm also a transplant. I'm from New York. I've been out here since 2008. I go to Laney. And I've been here for a while. And I've seen a lot of wild stuff. And like Brother Blue said, Brother Blue escaped, left where he came from to come out here to avoid the nonsense. I call it, I call it black foolishness. That's what I call it, right? I just left on seminary. Two sisters got killed last week. I just left one of these. I'm tired of seeing these, man. I mean, for real, like, it's like, you know, all the brothers and sisters that got up here to speak on the real side, it's just like the brother said previously, we could meet all here, we could meet here, we could mourn, we could do all that every day of the week, but if we don't mobilize and do the right things and put the money forth where it's supposed to be in a positive manner, none of this matters. I'm tired of seeing this. Right, right. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, when I was a kid, we had the Boys and Girls Club. We had that. These kids don't have nothing now. Right. Nothing. Right. You know what I mean? And then, just like the other person that said about the gentrification, they quit to save them, but they won't come to the East, West, and North Oakland. They won't come there. Downtown. You understand what I'm saying? And my whole thing of it is, is like this. The only reason why they're across the street now is so we don't get crazy. Right, right. That's why they're there and protecting these uh, businesses over here. Preferably the Tribune. And like the brother said earlier, everybody get bamboozled about the Warriors and all this stuff. Come on, man. Don't fall for the smoke screen. You understand what I'm saying? These kids, these youth is the future. I have a son. My son is seven years old. You know what I'm saying? If somebody did something to my son, I don't know what I would do. And I'm just keeping it real. Because I'm not calling them. I don't know what I would do. You understand what I'm saying? And my whole thing of it is, is just like I'm saying, this need to stop, because this is nonsense. It's nonsense at its highest level. You understand? Frederick Douglass said it best, without struggle there's no progress. But also Malcolm X said it's the ballot or the bullet. You understand what I'm saying? And my whole thing of it is, is like this. We have to come together as a people. You know what I mean? Don't get bamboozled by Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. That's nothing. You understand what I'm saying? That's just separating us even more. You understand what I'm saying? Let's go back to the values on how you doing, brother? How was your day today? How you doing, sister? How was your day today? We don't even do that no more. You be surprised. I be moving. I be everywhere. Oakland, Frisco, Richmond, Vallejo, everywhere. When I walk in these streets, Nobody talk to me. And I don't know if they see me and they get scared or whatever, whatever, but they don't say nothing to me. I talk to them. You understand what I'm saying? Where I come from is like this. People talk to each other. You know what I'm saying? When I come out here, it's like nobody talks to each other. That's crazy. That's crazy. You understand? I grew up in the Bronx and Brooklyn. My mama is from St. Petersburg, Tampa, Florida. My daddy from Waynesboro, Georgia, so I got the country in me and the city. You understand? When I get up in the morning, I think a lot that I got up. When I get up in the morning, I even think a lot for the people who don't like me. To bless them too. You understand? Because I'm going to be all right. You understand? But my whole thing of it is, is like this. These kids need stuff to do. They don't have anything to do. 
So if you ain't have no no parents, you understand me? You ain't had nothing to eat for like three days. No sleep. Are you gonna be in your right frame of mind? I don't think so. I don't think so. You understand? But they quit to they quit to quote a verse off the latest record or whatever, whatever. But if you ask them who Malcolm X is, they don't even know. What what was his real name? You understand me? I'm standing in the birthplace of the Panthers, Bobby Seale, Huey Newton, Kathleen Cleaver. You understand me? It's not a game. You understand? They trying to divide us even more. And it's more importantly, even so for this year because we have an election and I swear, I'm scared, I'm scared, I'm scared. Because we got a dude named Trump to give my state a bad name. Period. You know what I'm saying? It's like the lesser of the two evils. You know what I'm saying? They want to talk about Barack and all what he did, whatever, whatever. Barack did more for us than any other president. Period. But even though he's in that game too, so don't get bamboozled again. You understand what I'm saying? The thing is, it's like this. We have to come together as a community. We have to help these kids. Because for all us grown-ups, include myself, when we gone, they're the future. You understand what I'm saying? When we leave and we're gone, they're the future. So we have to, we have to paint a, a beautiful mosaic. We have, to, we have to construct a solid foundation for these children so they can thrive. Because this ain't it. This is not it. You understand? She didn't even get to live her life. I told you, I just left on seminary. Two girls got killed last week. Come on, man. Come on. You know what I mean? We need to stop this. And we need to come together as a community, man. And it starts with us. It starts with us. Okay? So I just want to say thank you to your ladies and gentlemen. And have a good night, and let's keep this fight going, man. Don't stop. Don't stop. So what are we going to do?